Welcome to the Purdue University Airport and the School of Aviation Transportation Technology. Myself and a few other ambassadors would like to take you on a brief look at the facilities that we have to offer our students here at Purdue. Let's start in the heart of our aviation program here in the Nicewanger building. Welcome to Nicewanger Atrium. Behind me, you can see the fixed wing UAS. That represents one of the four majors we offer here in the School of Aviation Transportation Technology. Um, over to my side, the brick wall is the original wall from Hangar 1, which is actually from the time that Amelia Earhart flew out of here. Um, up above me is all the flags of students that have attended SAT. So if your flag is not here, you can request to have it um, placed up here. Also, the atrium holds a place for companies to kind of come and interact with students, do network, networking events, and just to have different things for students to interact. Um, it also houses two of the biggest lecture halls um, in Nicewanger. In the back of Nicewanger, we have two test cells containing a PT6 and an F109 turbofan. Students not only get to learn how to run these engines, but also how to operate and troubleshoot these test cells. At Purdue, we do a lot of alternate fuel research on, in these test cells and on these engines, which allow our students to have a lot more industry experience to be ready to go out and face the industry. Here in Hangar 1, AET students are able to get hands-on experience with many different types of general aviation aircraft. We're able to use the knowledge that we learn in class and put it into practice as we prepare for our airframe and power plant mechanics certificate. Also in Hangar 1, we house the Hangar of the Future, which is where students are able to participate in cutting edge um, research in for problems in industry using artificial reality, virtual reality, and drone systems. In addition to the general aviation aircraft we have here inside Hangar 1, we also have larger transport category aircraft, a Gulfstream 400 and a CRJ 100 outside for our upper level AET students to work on. This allows us to play with larger electrical systems, hydraulic systems, fuel systems, play with wastewater management systems. So it's really great for our students to move from smaller aircraft to larger aircraft. Hey guys, we're in the terminal building now. There used to be commercial service coming in and out of here, um, but now it really serves as a place for our sports teams to be chartered in and out of. Um, at the beginning of the um, building, there is also the aviation library, which is a great place to study. Um, we also have uh, professor's offices on the second floor of this building, and there's the engine lab connected to it. In our cell test lab, students in AET are given the opportunity to work on a variety of engines and propellers. They're able to take what they learn in the classroom and implement that in a hands-on environment. Next to me, we have our Boeing 777 engine, which is a reliable asset for students in AET, as well as our Boeing 737 engine. As for the hands-on experience, students are able to work on a variety of engines, including a Pratt Whitney PT turbine engine, a light coming or superheating engine, and Hartzell propellers. There is always something exciting happening here. Welcome to Hangar 6 West. Here is where professional flight students and CFIs come to get dispatched for flights and discussions for course content. The hallway between dispatch and the ramp is where students and instructors collaborate for pre-flight and post-flight briefings as well as lessons. The hallway is host to the full-time instructor's offices. They're responsible for safety, scheduling, coordinating, and stage checks. Hi, welcome to the Purdue University ramp. Behind me, we have one of our Piper Seminoles, which students use to do their multi-engine training. We also have 18 Piper Archers, three of which have autopilot, as well as a Super Decathlon, which students use when they're doing their certified flight instructor spin training. So welcome to our Airbus A320 sim. This one's fitted with the new Neo engines. This sim, in combination with our Boeing 737-800 Next Generation sim, really helps students focus on crew resource management and how to operate in a team environment. In part of CRM, you, your first officer, your flight attendants, ATC, ground crew, and passengers are all different factors to uh, take into account when operating large airplanes, especially in the airlines. Right here, you'll find some of our basic training sims. These lay the foundation for our instrument training. So in these, you'll learn basic attitude instrument flying, how to fly approaches, VOR, GPS, ILS type approaches, and also getting experience with the wind. So after your course here, you'll hop in the plane and start flying instrument approaches at Lafayette. Thank you for joining us on that brief look at the facilities that we have to offer you here at Purdue. 
Whether it's our transport category aircraft or advanced aircraft simulators, we have everything that you need to be successful as a student here at the School of Aviation Transportation Technology. We encourage you to sign up for an in-person information session and tour so that you can get a more in-depth and personalized look at what we have to offer you here at Purdue. Thanks.